Hi, it's Dr. John Berardi here with Competitor.com, and today I'd like to talk about balancing out your dietary acids. You see, each time you eat a food, that food presents itself to your body as either an acid or a base. Now, don't get confused. Just because a food is acidic on the outside of the body, that doesn't mean it's acidic on the inside. Oranges and most other fruits are a great example. Although they're acidic outside the body, oranges are actually base producing inside the body. In fact, the most base producing foods are fruits and vegetables, while the most acid producing foods are grains and proteins. So why does all this matter? Well, when we eat a diet that's too high in acids, our bodies must find a way to balance out all the acidity coming in. Of course, we have a host of normal buffering systems, but even those can get overwhelmed over time. That's when calcium from our bones and glutamine from our muscles, both very basic or alkaline, are released to help neutralize our dietary acids. That's great for our acid base balance, but not so good for our bones and our muscles. They get weaker and smaller, and a catabolic sequence is kicked off in our bodies resulting in high amounts of stress hormones and suppressed testosterone, insulin-like growth factor, and growth hormone. Not a good recipe for lean, strong bodies and high performance. And guess who's most at risk? If you answered endurance athletes with high-carb diets, you're right. But here's the good news. It's quite easy to balance out our dietary acids, preserving our bones and our muscle in the process. All we have to do is up our fruit and veggie intake. To this end, I recommend eating about two servings of fruits and or veggies with every meal that you eat. This way, whether you're eating a carb-rich or a protein-rich meal, those dietary acids will be balanced out. Other excellent buffers include glutamine and creatine, even potassium bicarbonate. Although I wouldn't recommend trying to buffer your diet exclusively with these supplements. Chances are your dietary acid status is too great and you'll need some fruit and veggie power as well. In the meantime, continue to eat well and train hard. And I'll see you next time on Eat and Run.